Good morning, Sabats. It's so lovely to be with you today. It's our outdoor learning day, virtually, of course, because of lockdown. But I know that we're going to have a fantastic time exploring the great outdoors. I'm wearing a flowery top today because it's said to dress up in something to do with nature. I wonder what you're wearing. Are you dressed in green? Have you painted a flower on your face? Or are you dressed as an animal? I hope that you've had some good ideas. It's such a beautiful day today and as this lockdown has gone on I've spent more and more time sitting in my garden listening and pausing. Maybe you'd like to do that now and see what you can hear. How many different birds could you hear? Could you hear the wind rustling through the trees? Well, today there are two things to try. The first is to write an outdoor number poem. I've been and collected lots of different things this morning. I've got a pine cone, some rotting leaves, a dandelion, some buttercups, blades of grass, a stick, and I managed by rummaging in a bottom drawer to find some chalk so that I could write my poem on my patio. But you can write yours on paper if you want to. The next thing I did as I looked at all these lovely things was thought about adjectives. They're describing words. I tried to think of lots of different ones. I thought about colour and size and feel. So I came up with things like silky, spiky, cold, cool, smooth, rough, yellow, mucky, bright, pretty, filthy, mottled, small, dirty. There is such an endless list of adjectives that you could choose. Before you write your poem, talk with your family about all the different adjectives you could use to describe the things. Once you've made your list, think carefully about which objects you would like to use. I've made my choice. I'm going to start with my pine cone. This came from the tree in my garden. It's our first ever pine cone and we're really pleased with it. You need to choose uh, one of something, two of something, three of something, four of something and five of something. If you wanted to, you could go on and make a list of ten, but I've just done five. You need one adjective and then you need an alliteration. Alliteration is where something starts with the same sound. Come and have a look at my poem. I've got one large prickly pine cone, two rough sandy stones, three bright beautiful buttercups, four gentle green blades of grass and five burgundy luscious leaves. Take a photo of yours and upload it on our Purple Mash Outdoor Learning Day. Remember to just upload your work. Come over here and we will have a look at how to make a rainbow. Thursdays are a great day to think about rainbows as we celebrate our NHS heroes and all our key workers. I'm sure many of you have drawn a rainbow and put it in your window. Have a go with all the different ideas. You need some water, you need a, a jar, you need a CD, an experiment. It might not work first time. I can make one just on my CD if I hold it at the right angle. If you try it in the water, you'll be able to see the reflection of the rainbow in the corner. I wonder if you change the angle of the CD, whether it gets shorter or longer. Have a really good day, St Bart's, exploring how to make rainbows outside. If you try anything else, Please send a photo in. Have a brilliant day. Bye.